James Biden walked into uh, Congress or walked into the Capitol. He was uh, speaking with lawmakers, and this is ongoing. He's, you know, the, the, the presidential, he's the presidential fixer. I feel like they try, they try to make him the fixer. Who do you think is the Fredo between Joe and Jim? The Fredo? Yeah. It's always a Fredo. It'd have to be Jim. Yeah, it'd have to be Jim. They were trying to set up Bo and Hunter like this, like Jim and Joe. They were trying to set up Bo and Hunter like this. So James Biden, there's a there's this um, this whole story with him. So he goes in, he's the president's, you know, he's the president's deal, like he, you know, uh uh fixer he's he handles the president's business and now he's implicated in all of this stuff and i was reading back by his history this guy is so shady so he's this is after that fbi informant story came out and they're trying to say that the fbi informant isn't a legitimate guy and so as a result this whole thing's a sham that's the way that they're trying to to go about this i think it's all a joke i think that their accusations are stupid because this guy's a longtime informant, and apparently they've been really happy with his work this entire time. But they had this first; they have the closed door interview, and then they do the open hearing. Uh, so that's and that's what they always do to make sure. I mean, that's good heavens. That's how it always happens. And so they're questioning his brother. His brother, how do you go? And I was looking at this. How do you go from being like this shady dude? who opens up clubs, like boots and pants, right? And then you're like working with Chinese businesses, unless you're the Yakuza, you know. How, how are you this guy? He is as sketchy and shady as the day is long. Did you know that about him? He's like a, he's a club guy. He's a, he's a nightclub owner. He's, he isn't, he opened up, he ran a nightclub. And then he goes from that to being the de facto presidential consort sort of to China and working with China. Tell me that that's not shady. Come on. This guy is, the whole fam family is sketchy as all get out. I was reading this piece, it was over at the Washington Post from the other day, discussing how he was using his his last name, he was uh, tied to this like hospital chain and all this other stuff. And he really used his name to try to make as much money for himself and the family as possible. He, he, Politico had this piece. When was this? This was, uh, this was actually, this was a couple days ago where they talked about this uh, rural healthcare empire that was being built by this Philly area consultant. And Jim Biden, who has got high, somehow he gets hired, the nightclub owner gets hired as the consultant. This is like an episode out of Ozark, right? And I can say that because, you know, come by to honest. You hire a nightclub owner to basically help consult on your rural health care empire. Make this make sense for me. I just, this is the level of the griff we're dealing with here. And this dude, Jim Biden, had, he had no idea what the hell he was doing. He had no experience running nightclubs. Juan's got his picture up. Look at him. Doesn't he look like a great value version of Joe? Right? He looks like Joe, but his face is squeezed together. He, he had no experience running hospitals. None at all. But Politico noted, well, he did have ties to labor unions. And his last name is Biden. Huh. Now, they started doing this when Joe Biden was still vice president. I almost, man, I'm getting, almost, please don't exaggerate my own words. I almost feel bad for Barack Obama because he didn't just have Joe Biden. He had to bring, again, the whole fam family. He had Jim up, at, up in his business, too. He had Jim up there. He had Hunter. He had all of the Bidens. All of them. The ladies listening to the show will appreciate this, this uh, comparison. It's like when uh, they had uh, the Bingleys welcomed all of the Bennetts. To their house for the first time in Pride and Prejudice. And it was literally Bennett after Bennett after Bennett after Bennett after Bennett. Same thing. Every Biden there. And remember, they had nieces and nephews. 
that were working also in government, that they were getting nieces and nephews jobs. So it's not just the brother and it's not just like the brother's wife and it's not just, you know, Joe's sons. It's all their kids, too. So keep that in mind. All of that was happening this exact this period. So they had this this and and oh and and it and it's more than just Jim and Joe. There's two other siblings. So keep all this in mind. Anyway, so they were trying to make uh, uh, money off of drug rehabbing and lab testing and all this, even cancer treatment. Maybe that's what Joe talked about when he was going to cure cancer. Who knows? But Jim Biden wrote at one point Politico notes to the CEO of a Tampa area, area company that controlled licensing rights. Like, oh, it would be a great, uh, great platform to expose my brother's team to your protocol, et cetera, et cetera. He worked. He was there with his brother. It was like the Bo and, and Hunter setup. You got a guy who runs nightclubs and all of a sudden he finds himself he finds himself in all of these consultancy jobs, whether it's for rural hospitals or whether it's literally for consulting a business that you create with the CCP that's all about securing rare earth minerals for China that the United States desperately needs for Joe Biden's green agenda. How do you, how are you a nightclub and, and a nightclub owner and he has all these odds and ends that he does. It's just so grifty. All these damn people get hired. How do you get this job? How do you go from like opening boots and pants? I don't know. Did he have girls twirling on poles? I have no idea. I don't know what kind of club it was. The last name is Biden. So I'm assuming that it's not, you know, super class. Okay. I just, it's just the wildest thing to me. So now you see there's a lot there for lawmakers to work with, a lot for them to work with. So he shows up, and man, he looks like a nightclub owner too. Man, you can call him out. You can call these shady dudes out. And I'm not saying all nightclub owners are shady. Some are. Like I'm looking at him. He's got the triple point, you know, pocket square. He's got the weird, you know, tortoise shell glasses, his double-breasted suit. You know, I'm, I'm looking him walk up. I'm like, oh, my gosh. But oh, it's you're supposed to feel bad because they drag the president's brother. And that's kind of what happens, though, when you're engaged in all the shadiness. So this, I just cannot wait to see what comes out of this. I want to know because we don't really don't know a lot about Jim. Right. And this was the president's right hand guy. Have you ever heard him talk? You ever heard him give a speech? I'd say, Kane, I know you're th you thought it for a split second. You thought it. Is that the body double? I know you did. I heard your thought over here. You know me too well. Oh, my gosh. You were over there grinning. I could you tell you were thinking of it the well. whole time. But, no, he's like, you know, he's he's got more weight on him than Joe. But I bet he sounds more sentient than Joe does. I bet he does. So this is one of the things that we're watching today because I'm just I'm fascinated with all of this.